Hey neighbors, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the neighborhood. Today, as y'all can see by their title, I'm going to be giving y'all seven editing apps for graphic designers and content creators. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so for one, my main app is Video Leap. I love Video Leap. I mess with Video Leap, okay? But they started to make you pay for some transitions and some animations and etc. But if you are a true content creator, you are a true graphic designer, then you know that sometimes it's quality over quantity. So sometimes you have to pay to get the good effects and, you know, to make your stuff look different, look better, and, and quality. Okay? Two is CapCut. CapCut is very famous. I want to say I just kind of got on the CapCut wave because I used to be using like apps that people really weren't weren't using type of thing because I'm that's how I am different with being in tune with being different because I don't like using what everybody else is using. But I will say that CapCut is a good internet app and it's just something that you just can't resist. Whether you want to be different or not, it's just something that you can't resist. I love the transitions. Like I love the effects that you can use and stuff like that on there. Like it's very good for the, the things that they give out for free are very good. But now they are charging for certain features on there. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's every app now because everybody's trying to make their profit and etc three is pixar i want to say pixar is great for like photo editing logos thumbnails you know like i love pixar pixar will always pixar is where i started out from pixar is where i came up from okay i would never leave pixar alone i would never leave pixar alone like if you don't know about pixar baby get into it Four I have is iMovie. iMovie is something that I very first started out to. I feel like this is a great app for beginner YouTubers because it's like it's the most simplest, it's the most easiest way to edit. It's just so simple. Like their layouts are so simple than any other app. Any other app, when it's too much going on, it will like play with your head and it's just like, oh, it's just too much. I can't do it. So I just feel like iMovie is. It's the easiest guided like for beginners that's what i feel like but i do feel like once your editing skills get advanced and just like it's nothing left to do with iMovie like and i just feel like everybody like once you master an app it's like okay i'm ready for a bigger challenge i need something else i don't know about nobody else but that's how i am when it comes to my editing skills I, like once i mastered the app it's like i don't want nothing more to do with it unless it's just really fine and i feel like nothing is gonna top it but it's always best to try new apps and etc um next i have five which is funto i love me some funto but i mostly use this i mostly more so use this for um if i'm trying to get something a certain size because you can edit it in there i mean you can edit it in any app but i just feel like this one is better and also i use it for the fonts because why not? It's good to have different apps for different fonts because don't nobody always want plain old boring fonts on their thumbnails and you know like switch it up baby or even your banner or whatever the case may be whatever you're editing like switch up your fonts. The fonts is what catchy and drag people in also all that matters. <clears throat> Next I have six which is video star. I love video star. Do not get me wrong. I will pay for video star effects like video star bomb 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 that's how i edit my intros my outros like if the video need a little bit more movement a little bit more animation like video star is the one i will say that it's complicated to work but if y'all need help with it just let me know i'll make a tutorial and yeah um next lastly i have adobe and when i say adobe i mean literally all the adobe's they have adobe illustration adobe um lightroom and etc stuff like that but adobe it does cost but it's worth it you have to invest into what you want to do you know what i'm saying nothing is just going to come to you you have to put in some type of work to get 
more to get what you want you know so put it out and it'll come back to you in return and dope in fact so yeah but i hope this video helps y'all please make sure y'all like comment subscribe and yeah y'all go get on them apps make y'all videos pop and get more quality and don't say i don't love y'all because i just showed y'all put y'all down i just put y'all up on game so yeah